In the next few minutes, we're going to discuss a number of storage systems. These are systems that enable data to be stored effectively and manipulated in cloud environments. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. It's a way of combining multiple disks into a single logical unit. RAID 0 is a configuration that improves on performance, but doesn't offer any redundancy. It does this by spreading data across two sets of disks. RAID 1 is a popular disk subsystem. It is usually referred to as disk mirroring, and it provides redundancy by saving data on two separate disks, such that if one of the disks fails, um, data is still available on the other disk. Um, it doesn't necessarily improve on performance, but it does offer an additional level of redundancy. RAID 1 plus 0, sometimes also referred to as 0 plus 1, referred to a top-level RAID 0 array, which is composed of two or more RAID 1 arrays. Um, the benefit of this configuration is that if any of the subsystem fails, um, just a tiny part of the array is taken off for maintenance. It suffers from the same drawbacks as RAID 1 in the sense that data is mirrored across a redundant set of drives. So 50% of the drives within the array are actually out of use at any particular point in time. RAID 5 is a disk configuration that uses data striping with parity. Now, because data and parity are essentially striped across all of the disks, there is no single point of failure. No single disk is a bottleneck. And it also allows for data to be reconstructed in case there is a disk failure. And one of the other benefits of RAID 5 is that um, reads and writes are evenly balanced um, in this configuration. Now, RAID 5 is one of the most commonly used um, disk configurations on the internet. RAID 6 um, essentially extends um, fault tolerance to RAID 5 by introducing an additional parity block. Relational databases are a data storage technology that saves data in rows and columns. And relational databases typically deliver on the atomic um, properties or the acid properties, and that is atomicity, um, consistency, integrity, and durability. These are a set of properties that ensures that even in the event of failure, um, the data that is within the database can still be relied upon. A solid-state disk is a high-performance disk. It usually is more reliable and more durable as it doesn't have any moving parts. A host bus adapter is a special network card that enables a system to connect directly to a storage area network or to connect to it via a storage area network switch. Computers use network cards to connect to and access their data networks. Network attached storage gateways provide attachment points for network attached storage devices. The storage area network fabric enables connectivity between storage devices or storage systems and servers.